Hi everyone and welcome back to this week's edition of JDP's Questions, Wings and Things. This week on the show, we have Aaron Hark from the MSP Storm Warden. I've known Aaron for a few years and this guy's awesome. We filmed this one a few weeks ago and normally I'd say, let's see how we go with this one. I already know. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Take care. Has been going for that is not one of the questions by the way. <laughs> excellent <laughs> nice to start with a free yeah. one uh so we've been uh, operating a little bit over 18 months now yeah cool yeah good yeah i remember having conversations with you when things started kicking off in in true form as well yeah. it sounds like it's going well so you know the format with this yes. everyone knows the format with this by now five questions five wings answers Source first, you take a bite. Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna rattle off a, a question to you. Feel free to pick your first wing, mate. First question for you, mate. What is Storm Warden's history? And how did Storm Warden come about? Well, going back sort of the, the 18 months ago, yep. um, I was approached by an ex-CEO uh, that I'd worked for previously, and he was asking me about, you know, would I like to um, sort of run uh, their IT department. Yep. Which which was great. Um, you know, yeah. it was just sort of starting things up. But the um, the real problem that we had was that the scope required a real level of expertise, mm -hmm. but they didn't they didn't really have the workload for um, full time engagement, mm -hmm. and they certainly didn't have the the budget to to sort of really start doing that. So we had to come up with a really creative way to to kind of solve that problem. Facilitate, yeah. So we put our heads together and what we really sort of started talking about was, you know, making it consumable. So mm -hmm. could we come up with a way to, to deliver that expertise, but not do it in the traditional, okay, you have to have this internal burden of building a, a massive IT department. Uh -huh. So um, we came up to an arrangement where we'd become an, an external provider and we would actually, uh, you know, provide those services on demand yep. and um, solve their problem by we're tailoring what we're doing to um, to what they needed, so uh, that's how it all all kind of began. Mate, at least you're finishing that. Mm. <laughs> all kudos, there. I thought all that was kudos. part of the rules, right? They, they are the absolute rules. They are the rules, mate. Right. Go big when it's at, at the start. And when it gets hotter, I <laughs> might be taking smaller bites. <laughs> Very cool. No worries. So, okay, question two, mate. What does Storm Warden do that you think? is I guess a bit more innovative within the MSP arena. Yeah, typically um, um, an MSP will, um, they'll go into a business and they'll, they'll sort of start with an audit. Mm -hmm. So they'll go in and say, cool, what have you got? Yeah. Let's have a look, number of users you've got, type of technologies, uh, what are your printers? And they have to do this really deep dive into, into the, the whole IT solution. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there's a real problem with that because it's really sort of a very legacy way of thinking of it. What have you got? Okay. Where are you right now? Mm -hmm. uh, and also, it's it's not flexible. So, because especially today um, versus you know five or ten years ago, the landscape of technology that businesses oh, have huge, changed so huge. quickly. Got it. So, in terms of what we do, is um, we put together something that's uh, really really similar to, to if you like software as a service so if yep. you look at that model very subscription based consumable based um, yep. easy to understand you know easy to price yeah and there's no reason in our thinking that you can't apply the same thing to it management we'll take so it. we we sort of call that management as a service so yep. mass and then we've built a product offering around that which makes it super easy to understand these are the products and things that you can have yeah and what we do is we tier them. So rather than go, cool, let's do a full audit and let's try and make a custom solution. We do that comprehensive um, yeah. product suite across uh, four tiers. So it's kind of like a mobile phone plan. So if you want a mobile phone, yeah. you go into a vendor and you say, cool, I want these features, so I'm on, on that plan. So we do the same thing. Beautiful, mate. Good answer as well. Good answer. How are you going with that one? Mm. It's good. It's good. Okay, we'll, we'll start to get moving with these in a minute. Ooh. Got, a, got the third one kicking in now. <laughs> Again, take take your pick on that one, mate. I like how you've, you've sort of, you haven't held back there on the on the amount. <laughs> Thanks for that. No worries, so, okay, third one for you. Is how do you think Storm Warden offers something special or a little bit more unique than what other MSPs out there offer? Um, so, you know, what are we doing that's, that's a bit special or different? So, obviously, um, the Omni product and that management as a service is, is really a key differential for us. 
So, you know, even in how we got started, where we weren't just going, this is what the customer has requested, or this is what they need, we're really looking to be that partner. So it's not just fixing a, a problem, it's actually then going, how can we offer the value, which yep. actually sits on top of it, yep. so that a provider um, like ourselves can actually go, right, we're actually gonna partner with you, Make we're gonna be out. part of the journey, and we're gonna move from um, you know, where we are now to, to on a bit. So, um, so that that's really a big part of what we're doing. So ooh, I, I, can, I, I saw a tear. A tear it says trickle. <laughs> just just out of it's on the it's on the right side for the viewers as well. So it's a tear of concentration. Let's call that's, it. That's that's yeah. how passionate I am about this topic, Sam. <laughs> you know. Oh, don't get me started. I'm a crew. Man. <laughs> and uh, yeah, how are you going with that one now? Uh, yep, it's uh, it's definitely kicked in. Um, uh, we're at five, right? All five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're sixty percent the way there, mate. Yeah, I'll pause for reflection at this point. So, what do you enjoy most about being the CEO of Storm Warden? What's been the most rewarding part of the journey thus far for you as well, mate? The the love of what I I get out of this and the real energy booster is when you have that partner connection with with a customer. Oh. You know, when you can actually see what somebody getting value and not just all right, we've reduced cost or or something like that. We're actually getting people who are no longer going, what in my technology space has you know, stopped working and how do I fix it? You know, to changing where their, their mindset's at, saying, okay, I can now focus on my business. Yeah. So I'm looking at my products, my services, my yeah. customers. And you know, so what we're trying to do for our customers is almost translated uh, into what they're doing. Um, that, that's just the, the biggest, you know, uh, a feeling of- The of, rush out of it, yeah. Correct. Last one. Is this one going to kill me? No, believe in in, in, <laughs> in order of this one probably shouldn't be the hottest one, but I think this one's got a bit more of an edge than than the others. All right, go for that one, mate. What type of businesses contact you guys? What businesses are the ones that are reaching out to you? If it's like that reverse BD angle, and yeah, you know, someone's looking for your support. Yeah. So in terms of like a, a vertical, there's there's nothing that prevents us from working with really any business that's in that space of yeah. saying we've got a technology um, system solution we need that kind of help yeah what we found typically is that customers are really reaching out to us a um, <laughs> <laughs> there it is we have to lose it <laughs> no um, again we're talking about the customer right okay. um, no the, the customers are contacting us when they've got a problem Mm -hmm. So it's really common for them to reach out if they go, uh, like we've had people who are calling up saying, look, we've got ransomware, we've got things on our computer saying, you know, it's encrypted, we need to pay money, and we don't have a backup, uh, and things like that. Um, when we're really taking that different pathway, instead of being a vendor mm -hmm. and being a partner, we start having those meaningful conversations and we really move the, the conversation into how can we provide value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a real evolution in, in where the conversation starts to, to where we sort of go typically long term with a, any sort of customer relationship. I like it mate, That's that, that does actually round up the 5.5 questions. <laughs> on, the, on the back of that one, I think you've been an absolute legend mate on the back of that. Thank you. And uh, Aaron Hart, thank you very much for making it to JDP's questions, wings and things. Take care. Love it. Legend, mate, you did well. <laughs>